So the question being asked throughout the country is what will happen after lockdown? Israel is vaccinating its population faster than any country in the world, but will that be enough? Let's speak with Professor Cyril Cohen, the head of the Immunotherapy Lab at Bar Ilan University. Thank you so much for joining us, doctor. My pleasure. So what will happen if we just come out of the lockdown? Can the vaccinated portion of the population slow down or stop the virus? And what is the best case scenario here? And what is the worst case scenario? I think that one of the conclusions we reached during the months of January is that lockdowns are not effective enough to stop the spread of this infection. We might have stabilized that, and I'm not saying that the lockdown didn't work, but on the, on the other hand, we are fighting an infection, especially with a, with a British variant that is now responsible for 80% of the new contamination. So, so right now, we, we are really realizing that the lockdown is not the best way to fight these pandemics, and, and we are sacrificing education and, and businesses and, and economy. So we have to find a new solution. Right now, vaccination has started to kick in and, and we are seeing results. Vaccination also the result are going to you know, take some more time. There are lots of questions uh, around the vaccine. Some experts are now talking about uh, you know, maybe having to give people a third dose. Many are saying we might have to get it every year. What is the health community in Israel saying about this? It's a, it's a bit too early to say if we're going to have to get it every year. But the, the real thing uh, is that the reality check is that we are seeing variants. So right now we have data that the vaccine is protective against the British variant. But we do believe that at some point the vaccine won't be protecting enough against you know, new variants that are emerging. And therefore, we, 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 might have, we might need what we call an update or a boost. Uh, of vaccines that will be, like we see, for example, for flu, that will be adapted to the current, the current variants in the population. Doctor, we heard in the last report that uh, cases in babies are actually skyrocketing or have in the last month. Children have said to be super spreaders, but no one under 16 can get vaccinated. Do you think that will change? It will not change until clinical trials are performed in children. Right now, we are waiting for the results from uh, Pfizer about you know the, uh, the the age group of 12 to 16 and that should arrive within two months only based on clinical results clinical trial results we can decide if we will vaccinate or not children but you know at the at this point there are no clinical trials for children under the age of 12 so this is not a real option and the other thing is that we're not sure that the vaccine can prevent the transmission Therefore, it is recommended for, you know, all the people to get vaccinated, but because, you know, there is a chance that children will still, you know, even if they are vaccinated or people, they will still, you know, help the virus circulate in the population. So you need the vaccine to prevent symptoms. That's the most important thing right now. All right, Professor Surreal Cohen, thank you so much for your insight. Thank you very much.